This is our view from our balcony on the fourth floor. Railroad station right across the street. Probably hear trains coming in here during the night. It is uh, 611 on the watchtower. We'll be setting in the west in about a half an hour or so, 40 minutes. Nice little town. Way to the Bordeaux Airport after a great night in Albi. Uh, what else you got to say for yourself, Matilda? Sun's coming out. Good girl. As well, uh, well, this one is a Baroque style. Uh, we do not have a lot of Baroque style in this tour, but we will see quite a lot of churches. Mm -hmm. The restaurant for tonight got the green. You could see over there. That's the Mabli. And I go back to the main street and the other passage. Okay, this is a church right around the corner from our hotel, and that is our restaurant tonight. The Mali. Going through a little mall here, getting located, just giving us a 30 minute tour around the hotel area. Over there. You've got one line of tramway. Tramway is new in Bordeaux for nearly three years now. When we will be back on Wednesday, the 1st of November in Bordeaux, uh, I will say uh, most of the shops are not closed. We will be standing up the order of the shops. So this is the we were on the 1st of November. And uh, our next location, we are close by one of the tramway system. And I will provide you a ticket to try Tramway. Oh, great. Thank you. Merci. So, uh, here Her new dish pattern, when Jennifer gets whatever she's got, it's going to be this, this Japanese one here. No. Here's our tour group walking around here. There is wheel in the back. Downtown Bordeaux. They're, uh, Sanding the buildings and cleaning all the buildings here, starting from the square all the way around. There goes the bride, having her pictures taken in front of the great opera house. This is their grand theater of the town. Theater, well, it's, it's the Opera House of Bordeaux. It's a beautiful construction from the end of the 18th century. Just on the left hand side, if you, if you like wine, it's a very nice shop. Robin de Bordeaux, l'intendant, they've got an amazing staircase inside. Uh, higher you go with the staircase, higher the prices are going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. And uh, nearly in all the places we're going to stop, they do not ship any wine. So you have to consume it on board. Oh. But you're really an expert in wine and looking for very expensive and... Uh, and and the at the corner after the tabac, which is the red sign, just after it, that's the tourist office if you're looking for some precise information about the city. And in the back, you see the big uh, ferris wheel. That's for the fun fair for the vacation. There is a in this street. area that's quite wealthy. Further on, cheaper cities. This is wealthy and it gets cheaper as you go down this long shopping street. There's the bell tower of the cathedral. We've got a whole day here coming back, you know. There's the uh, mall. And on the bottom is the supermarket. It's a shopping mall. Nicely done. Are you going to have your cappuccino now? in front of the Cathedral of San André. This part has been washed. There's the unwashed part that they haven't gotten around to sandblasting yet. It's coming. It's a beautiful square. This is the inside. One of the chapel windows.
bells for something. Oh, it's four o'clock. Last supper, it looks like there. So he knows all the neighborhoods without any map, uh, just automatic driving. Yeah. Close your eyes. In the back, there is a huge monument, a column with a lady with wings in the back. She shown about some politician from this area uh -huh. called the Gironda products. And really, uh, it was a big boom, increasing of their business on the 18th century. And mainly, all the houses you've got on the left hand side are from the 18th century. And because Bordeaux is that the business name the of the bottle lake. of wine, and mostly all the big, big chateaux nowadays don't belong up. anymore to one family, but to some big financial fund. And Sauvignon, that's for the production of white Bordeaux. Merlot. What you have to remember in the Bordeaux production, it's the bits which are producing Margo, Margo wine, Margo villages wines. like Soussan, Margot, Cantenac, Labarde, and Arsac. Only the winemakers on, we'll you. who's got the wow. yellow shirts. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so next year, the Tour de France will start in quite a fan. The Chateau Margot, Chateau like Margot. Monsieur Jefferson, too. The chateau in the front of Chateau Marco. Oh, look at the house. Nice. So left and right. Getting a stop at the Chateau Margot, A U X. House is behind that big fence. And this is our tour group here. Where's the mutti? There she is. The Mokayo Chateau. The real origin of the, the chateau, I mean, it has been built, and the first vines were planted in 1875. So actually, Mokayo is a local area. And nowadays, most of the time, when they are in harvesting time, they rent the machines. The winemaker is not the owner of the bottling machine, they just rent it for one or two days. The they bring the machine to the bottling house. Yes, they bring the machine to the wine cellar. Mm -hmm. It's okay. No problem. And, uh, in the vineyards, we have standing wines. And uh, here in the Medoc, we use mainly Cabernet Sauvignon. So we have today 62% of it, then 32% of Merlot. And finally, 6% of Petit Verdot. So that's a very typical combination for the Medoc wine. Uh, the harvests are done in general at the end of September, early October, when the grapes are perfectly mature. The maturity is depending every year on the weather we are during the year. So for example, this year, we started the harvest on the last week of September, and the harvest uh, were two, two weeks and a half long. Mm. And uh, the harvests are made here both by hand and by machine. By hand for the young vines, more fragile, so around a third of the vineyards are manually harvested, and the rest is mechanically harvested. And in general, the harvests are two, three weeks long. Then a very important detail is that the harvests are made separately for each grape variety. First the Merlot, then the Cabernet Sauvignon, and finally the Petit Verdot. <laughs> So now, here mechanically, we're going to separate the fruit from the stems, mm -hmm. also the leaves, all these uh, vegetal elements which could give bad taste. Uh, so they are rejected outside. Hmm. Definitely. Right here on a long table, which is here just during the harvest period, mm -hmm. the rest of the year that's not necessary. Uh, so imagine here a four, five <coughs> meters long table. Mm -hmm. And on this table, manually, we have to pick out the last pieces of stems or leaves and also the bad grapes. The bath. Everything, I mean the blending of the juice with the skin, the pulp and the pits. Because indeed for the red wine making process, we need the whole fruit. Okay, here is the wine aging room. They've taken it out of the steel vats and it stays in here for 18 months in the wood barrels.
So it's a very particular quality of wine. It's a warranty of quality. So it means it's not okay. a wine trader who has bought the wine in barrels. It's another two years, I would say. So you can sip it, whirl it in your palate, mm -hmm. drink it, or spit it. <laughs> Are there, uh, they said there are five different... Up to the, uh